Welcome everyone to my channel and thank you for watching. In this video, we will be answering the question, can you use your Fire Stick without any access to the internet? If you want to find out the answer, let's go and take a look. If you're shopping from Amazon, whatever it may be, from a new Fire Stick, to even a bag of dog biscuits, did you know that by going to Amazon through my personal referral links helps to support everything that I do here on my YouTube channel? My referral links provide a small commission at no extra cost to you and every little helps. You can find my Amazon referral links in the description down below. Thank you for your support. So can you use your Fire Stick without access to the internet? Well, the answer to that question is yes and no, depending on which apps you have installed. Because your Fire Stick is a streaming device, you're more than likely going to be using it to stream content from applications such as Netflix, YouTube or Prime Video. As these applications are dependent on the internet to stream content from, without any internet, they will not work. But you can still open and use any app that you have installed that doesn't require an internet connection. You just won't be able to open any apps the way you normally would. You will get a network unavailable error. Instead, you'll need to click on the cog icon to go into settings, applications, manage installed applications and launch your apps from there. Some examples of some apps you can continue to use without a connection to the internet include games like Crossy Road and Flappy Bird's Family. If you've downloaded, recorded, saved or moved any videos or photos to your Fire Stick, you'll also still be able to access and view these files by using a File Explorer application such as Explore to navigate to the file's location and open them. This will also work if you have files saved onto a storage device you have plugged into your Fire Stick. If you're traveling, for example, and know that you're not going to have any internet, you can take saved video files from your computer, put them on a USB drive, attach it to your Fire Stick, and use Explore to open and view your media files. Just remember that any attached storage must be formatted to FAT32 and video files must be no larger than 4 gigabytes. If you'd like to find out how to add a USB storage drive to your Fire Stick, check out my other video tutorial that's showing in the link above me and in the description down below. VLC Player is another useful app if you have video files saved onto your Fire Stick or if you have a NAS or hard drive set up on your local network. Using your Fire Stick and no internet connection, you can open VLC Player and browse and watch all of your video files that are saved on your Fire Stick or on your home network drives. If you don't want to have to go into the settings, manage installed applications route to open your apps. If you've got a custom launcher installed, such as Lean Back on Fire, for example, you can open the launcher and access your apps that way. You'll be able to see all of your apps and access them from there. I hope that you have found this video useful and it answered the question, can you use your Fire Stick without any internet? Let me know in the comments section down below which other apps you've tried that work on the Fire Stick without any internet. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and helps to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers and I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Did you know that I also have a very useful website where you can find even more Fire Stick information, help and tutorials? You can find a huge app library that is simple to use and you can download almost any app from my website right onto your Fire Stick using the Downloader app. 
you'll also find video tutorials, help and advice on other streaming matters that you won't find from me on YouTube. So make sure you check out firetvsticks.com and bookmark it so you can always go back and check for the latest news. You can also sign up to my newsletter that will keep you up to date on all of my latest video releases, news and how-to articles delivered right to your inbox.